and we will now transition to our candidates in the Republican primary for uh, the State Representative District 28. Welcome candidates, Councilman Kerry Murphy and Jason Kelly. Mr. Murphy, you may now make your opening statement. Hi, my name is Kerry Murphy. I want to thank everybody who had a part in putting this on, this event together. I'm a proven conservative with leadership experience and I'm running for Arkansas State Representative to represent the great people of District 28. I grew up in Saline County. I graduated from Bryant High School. I went to ULR and I enlisted in the Marine Corps. I fought in Desert Shield and Desert Storm. And as a combat veteran, I was honorably discharged as a sergeant from the Marine Corps. I've been married 24 years to my wife, Audra. We have one daughter, Madison, who attends Arkansas State and a dog named Lucky. I've been on the city council of Benton for eight years. I'm a small business owner. Last year, I had the honor of receiving the Entrepreneur of the Year. You may also know me from the Saline County Gun and Knife Show. I promote my values, including fighting for the sanctity of life, cutting taxes, wasteful spending, making government more efficient. No one will fight harder for you than me on the Second Amendment. I'm asking for your vote in the Republican primary. Thank you, Mr. Murphy. Mr. Kelly, you may now present your opening statement. Thank you, uh, Benton School District. Thank you, uh, MySaline.com, for having us this evening. My name is Jason Kelly, and I am running for State Representative District 28. I am the CEO of the Boys and Girls Clubs of Saline County and been, in that, been with the Boys and Girls Club for over 19 years. Been serving the children and families here uh, and love what I do, but I do, do, I do care about more than that. I do care about other issues that affect our community. I care about opioid and uh, abuse and use. I care about um, wasteful spending, uh, government wasteful, wasteful spending. I also care about career technical education, and I care about the kids that are not college ready, but they are career ready, and I think that's a great way that we can start uh, young careers and pathways in middle school. So. I uh, look forward to serving the uh, people of Saline County and District 28 at a different capacity, and I would appreciate your vote on May 22nd. Mr. Kelly, you have the first question. How long have you been a registered member of your party? Have you ever been registered as a member of another party? If so, why did you change? And what are primary concerns or changes you plan to address if you are elected? All right, that's a long question. I want to hit this one first. I have been, um, I have been a, um, uh, a Democrat and a Republican my life. I've always felt that I've always voted for the candidate that, bit, that fits that office the best. I've never been sold out completely to um, uh, my previous uh, being a Democrat. About 10 years ago, I switched over to the Republican Party. Um, during that uh, transition, I, I wanted to raise my family. I, I saw things that I saw that the other party was not going the direction that I wanted to go and raise my family. So at that point in time, I decided to um, move over and to the Republican Party, and that was in 2008, I believe. The, the things that I want to uh, tackle um, is and discuss and make a difference in this community is what I discussed earlier is career technical education. We have a lot of children that um, either go to college because uh, they think that they're going to be a societal failure and I and they either they go to college and logistically or financially or educationally they just don't make it and um, what we must do as a community is expand our career technical education start those pathways uh, interest-based pathways for our students so it gives them uh, something to do instead of college so looking forward to uh, being a part of that solution thank you for that mr. Kelly mr. Murphy how long have you been a registered member of your party? Have you ever been registered as a member of another party? If so, why did you change? And what are the primary concerns or changes you plan to address if you are elected? I've always voted Republican my whole life. Never once have I voted Democrat. Um, 
I've been helping conservative candidates and uh, countywide, statewide, get elected for the last 12 years. I worked on Lieutenant Governor Griffin's congressional and uh, Lieutenant Governor, his campaign. I've helped other congressional races and stuff around. And that's helped me develop solid relationships with representatives and senators and congressmen all over the state. And that gives me, a, from day one, I'll, I'll have a, work, uh, you know, a network of folks that I can go talk to. If we have a bill or an issue in Saline County that we need other support from, they're going to have an ear. I'm not saying they'll vote how they want, but I'm also the first vice chair of the Republican committee here in Saline County. So being a member of that since 2009, I've been the secretary and then the first vice, uh, so it's you know hand in hand with that. I was at the Republican National uh, Convention. I was an alternate delegate and uh, support Trump. So I mean, Republican-wise credentials, I'm, I'm solid. I'm a proven conservative. Uh, when it comes to issues about the state on things I want to work on, uh, I want to work on lowering our taxes, getting income, making it uh, more attractive for jobs and business in town. You know, 119 uh, people in our state for every 10,000, we have 119 agency workers. And Texas, Tennessee, they have 65. I'm for working with the governor and them to reduce it down. They're talking about reducing the state agencies now down. I'm, I'm for bold ideas and bold change. Reducing taxes, government waste, that's what I'm going to be fighting for in jobs. We need jobs in Saline County and around, and I'll do everything that I can to help produce the jobs. There's a, uh, that's, that's pretty much it. Thank you. Mr. Murphy, you may <coughs> remain here at the podium for your next question. The people of Arkansas may be voting to bring casinos here in November. How do you feel about this? In addition, how do you feel about taxing casinos and gambling in order to pay for our roads and highways? Well, the people vote. If they voted in, then casinos are here. Of course, it has to go to the attorney general, has to get it put on the ballot. She's been having some issues with the language. But once it gets in, if the people voted in, then I'll, uh, I'll look at and be supportive. Now, when it comes time for the taxes, I know that they estimate, uh, you know, 55 to $60 million that they would get in revenue. 55%, that's the 55% mark, would go to the highway fund. 70% goes to the state, and 30% goes to the city and county. So Benton itself, not having a casino, would get 30% of the tax, that they, the revenue. Uh, I know the two counties they're looking at doing this in is in uh, Russellville, in Polk County, and in Pine Bluff and Jefferson. I've had some people ask me about if it's a monopoly or something, but I've been told that it is uh, merit-based, that you only have um, one casino that would operate each individual one. It wouldn't be two of the, you know, they wouldn't have both of them. Uh, I've been told that Oaklawn and Southland are already on board with it and okay, and they're spaced around the state for that reason, not to conflict uh, with each other. So if the people voted in, then I will, um, you know, I'll support it. I am skeptical about any time that uh, somebody says taxes is going to something, and it, and it, you know, that a few years back there was a cigarette tax that was put on and we're going to have emergency centers all in rural Arkansas. That hasn't happened like it said. Uh, the lottery, scholarship lottery, that was a tax that we were going to have all kinds of, you know, our lottery, it was going to, it was a vice, what you consider, you don't have to have it, but you go do it. And uh, the lottery didn't produce all the scholarships they said it would. So, you know, being concerned and watching the revenue with that tax, I think uh, it's important for the legislator to have oversight. And with the two-thirds vote, I know that they can transfer the money to some other department. Thank you, Mr. Murphy. Mr. Kelly. The people of Arkansas may be voting to bring casinos here in November. How do you feel about this? And in addition, how do you feel about taxing them and gambling, and gambling in order to pay for our roads and highways? Well, I, I think clearly the, the decision is up to the taxpayers. I would support um, what the taxpayers support. Um, as far as the revenue and being taxed uh, to go to our, our streets and highways, I, I definitely, roads and highways, I definitely think that that's a great option. We, de we do have deteriorating uh, roads and highways in the state of Arkansas, uh, some infrastructure that definitely needs to be improved. So I would be supportive of utilizing and, uh, that tax base to improve our infrastructure. Mr. Kelly, yes. you will also be the first to present your closing statement. You have two minutes. 
once again, thank you for uh, allowing us to speak. I, I will tell you that, um, that I am honored to run in this race. I have a new appreciation for candidates. Um, I will tell you that I will work extremely hard, as hard as I do at the Boys and Girls Clubs, to um, better the lives of children and families in this community. And like I've said before, I do realize that uh, statistics tell me that I do have more years behind me than I do ahead of me. And I want to make the best use of my time. I want to make this community better. I want to make District 28 better and tackling the deep issues and the, the, concern, the issues that I'm deeply concerned about uh, for District 28. So I would appreciate your vote. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Kelly. Mr. Murphy, if you may now present your closing statement, you have two minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming out tonight. I appreciate the opportunity to tell you about myself and my views. I'm asking for the voters in District 28 to vote for me and send a proven conservative with leadership experience to the Capitol. I have the experience and the legislative relationships to hit the ground on day one. I'm pro-life, pro-Second Amendment. I stand for traditional family values, lower taxes, less regulations. I will fight to lower our taxes to be competitive with surrounding states and to attract new jobs. I have been a Republican all my life and have consistently been helping good Republican candidates in Saline County and statewide get elected. As a Marine Corps veteran, I bring years of discipline and able to see the world from a different perspective. A sergeant is a leader who finds solutions to problems that can mean life or death. The U.S. Marine Corps prepared me for high stress situations, taught me to never give up, work hard, adapt and overcome any situation. I will always stand for the national anthem and salute the United States flag. I will bring this work ethic and determination to the House Chamber in Little Rock. Serving on the Benton Council for eight years, I help oversee a budget of $17 million and work on city issues almost daily. I understand the hard work it takes to run a small business and to help run a growing town. I am a principled conservative and have the knowledge of the legislative process and understand that everyday working people need less government in their lives. I'm endorsed by Lieutenant Governor Griffin, other senators, representatives, and local elected officials. My door will always be open to listen to your ideas and concerns. I can be reached at 501 580-3737. I'm humbly asking for your vote in the May 22nd Republican primary. Early voting starts May the 7th. Thank you for coming out tonight. Thank you, Candace.